What can you tell us? What can we look forward to? I mean, we've seen the characters yeah. before, so how, how, how will they evolve or change now that they're taking the spotlight at the time? Um, I think it starts with Fiona and Cake in a very different place than Finn and Jake would have been, so I think you can expect to see a early 30s-something version of Fiona trying to figure out where her life has gone wrong and how she can fix it. And that's kind of what the series follows. Why early 30s? Why not stick with the younger uh, ages of the characters? Why make them older? I mean, that's almost the age that they are in real life now, so it, it felt like where the series ended and where we've seen Finn subsequently, he's like in his late 20s, and we also wanted to have her in a place that was a little less optimistic in her life, so she's she, things haven't quite worked out, and her struggles are like making rent, and not like going on a big adventure to, uh, to fight things. So she has this kind of escapist drive, and it felt like that would fit better at that age, as opposed to like if she was like still 18 or 19. Um, so we got to see um, Finn in that uh, you know little clip, uh, yeah. looking you know <laughs> a little ragged there. Is he going to reunite with his uh, best buddy at any point? How do he look good? <laughs> <laughs> He's burly, but, you know, he's not. Uh, <laughs> he's burly. Yeah, we do see Finn and Jake a little bit in this series. Uh, we, Without, like, you know, trying to draw too much attention away from Fiona and Cake, we wanted to show, you know, the, the point of comparison. More than, like, actively having them jump through a portal and shake hands. It's like, let's let's hang out for the next half hour together. You won't, we won't get that. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> My question is, do we get any other characters that are, like, gender bent or are just... <laughs> Like different characters that are swapped. Yeah, we tried to show uh, a bunch of characters that we have shown before. So there's like Marshall Lee and yep, Marshall Lee, yeah, cosplay years ago. Yeah. Oh, awesome. Great. Yeah, and a version of uh, Gumball. We also have that. So and LSP, who's who's still voiced by Ben Ward. Um, but yeah, we tried to find opportunities to show more of them without just making it sort of a cameo fest. Um, but yeah, there there are quite a few. So will the tone series remain pretty much the same adventure time, or are you changing it up? Yeah, I mean, it's it's hard to tell, like, if Max has a specific, you know, sort of house style or house tone, but I think it's, like, Adventure Time just a little bit older, not... I think when it got teased as, like, an adult series, it's, it's more YA. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh, you mean the show itself was dark? It's amazing. I mean, I feel like that was always there. It's just kind of the balance of it and sort of the format of it is a little longer. There's you know, like half-hour episodes, so that kind of influences sort of the pace of things. Um, but like in terms of like the type of stories you want to do, and the sense of humor, I feel like that is still connected to the original series. Is it like a different feel, like doing a half-hour episode versus the like 11 minute episodes? I mean, it's it makes animatics twice as long. It's, it's just a, a lot longer. Yeah, it's a lot more heavy lifting. You're balancing a lot more things. Yeah, in your yeah. in your mind. And Eleven's like you could you could do a lot faster because even if you weren't totally sure about the concept, it was like eleven minutes, you're done. Uh, and this, if you aren't sure of what you're doing and what where it's going to uh, arc towards, you know, the, the middle can sound quite a bit. So I think just approaching that different structure and that's the biggest thing. Yeah, yeah, I think the pace of it, especially, you can kind of, without, you know, you don't want to bore people, but you still want to have a variety of incidents, but I think you're able to sort of dig into a silent moment, where as in 11 minutes, you got to just keep moving so fast just to get it down to time, and not having that pressure is, is a nice. My question is, do we get to see an iteration of My Girl Street Chunks, or in general, just, I love her? Oh, well, the original voice actor passed away, so <laughs> we do have an appearance by her. Okay. We did. We did make sure that there is a, a kind of an extended cameo of Starry Tree Tracks. Uh, but yeah, Polly Lou Livingston uh, passed away a couple years ago. So we got one last appearance from her, but yeah. Uh, is there more Lich King, or is that done? Or? The Lich as a character? Uh, yeah. He still exists in okay. sort of the multiverse of, of Adventure Time. Child or adult? A child. Oh, that'd be interesting. No. It's just like a giant skeleton still. Well, I'm just saying. I'm just asking. <laughs> Doing this series made you now want to go back and explore the characters and seek them in different universes. 
Yeah, when we started this one, we had like, what what direction can we go? So even before this series got greenlit, we had like three or four potential series that we had gotten ready and sort of just kind of floated that to Max and Cartoon Network to see what they were interested in pursuing. And I think in terms of recognizability, it was easier for them to say yes to Fiona and Kate just, just because the characters exist and they're also, you know, share kind of a, a visual similarity in Fiona Jake. Um, but I would love to do more with, you know, different sets of characters because we, we went pretty far down a couple of roads like what a, uh, a further mini series could be or a different season. So, yeah, there are definitely ideas. And this one? There's a couple. Not a ton. There's so many. There's, uh, Adventure Time was such a huge world when it ended that it's hard to give equal time to everybody. Will you need more Gunther? Yes. All right. Okay. Thank you. <laughs>